pretty much ever since Daniel Dubois and Philip Hargrich announced that they'll be fighting on June 1st. There's been a narrative going around, it may be an unofficial one but for all intents and purposes pretty much official because everyone was running with it as far as I was aware and that was that essentially the winner of Alexander Usyk, Tyson Fury would get stripped of the IBF belt because we all know the IBF quote unquote don't play around when it comes to their mandatories etc etc and then Philip Hargovic and Daniel Dubois would essentially be fighting for that belt with the winner likely fighting AJ in September. That's pretty much been the narrative as far as I'm aware since the June 1st card was announced and maybe even before that, I don't know. But it turns out that that may not be the case. And the reason why I say that is if you look on Boxing Scene, there's an article there that's basically headlines something along the lines of IBF president gives update on IBF belt situation. I don't even know if that's even close to what the real title is, but if you go on there, you'll find it. And essentially the IBF guy, Daryl Peoples, I think his name is, what he's saying is, as the champion, Alexander Dusik has the right to request an exemption to not get stripped and not have to vacate and basically have the rematch as undisputed as well. And it's down to Alexander Dusik's team to essentially launch that appeal and then it will be considered by the IBF and their board or whatever. He did start off the conversation or at least the quote started off with him saying how the rules are the rules and if there's a rematch clause that gets in the way of a mandatory then we all know what happens. It's clear, everyone knows how it's set out, blah blah blah. And then he went on backtracked and said essentially... The rematch could be for Undisputed again if Alexander Usyk and his team were to put in a request and if that request were to be granted. So he's basically, in my opinion, he's saying if they put that request in, we may well grant it. And he went on to say, as of right now, the upcoming fight between Daniel Dubois and Philip Hergovich will not have the IBF belt on the line. And that basically contradicts everything we've been believing. Now, maybe we've just all been naive or whatever. I don't know, but I was certain that was the case and that was what was going to happen. I mean, I don't recall Tyson Fury getting a chance to put in a request to have his rematch with Vladimir Klitschko back in the day. I'm pretty sure they just stripped him and that was that. But now I think with the Saudis involved, it's almost like the IBF don't want to be as strict as they were maybe once upon a time. I mean, I don't even know if that's true, but I think it might be because boxing scene on the article, they said they reached out to Alexander Six manager, Egis Klimas, to ask him about the situation. And essentially what Egis Klimas said was they're going to give it a few days and they're going to speak to the man they call His Excellency in Saudi Arabia. And then he's going to speak to Alexander Usyk and then they're kind of going to decide from there. So they want to see what Turkey wants to do and they want to see what Alexander wants to do and they're going to take it from there. But why are they even asking Turkey? What's he got to do with it? He doesn't promote Alexander Usyk. He's not part of Team Usyk. So realistically, he shouldn't be in the conversation in my opinion. But because he's paying all the bills, I suspect they're going to do exactly what he tells them to do because the Saudis and Turkey have basically got everyone jumping through hoops for them at the moment. And it comes with the territory. they got the money. People want the money. They do what they're told. They get paid. It is what it is. And this is the new world order when it comes to boxing, at least. And then I was thinking to myself about like the plan that was laid out initially where AJ would get the winner of the rematch between Tyson Fury, Alexander Usyk, and they would reunify the titles. I was thinking to myself... It's probably in Alexander Usyk's best interest for him to vacate the belt or get stripped or whatever, fight Tyson Fury. If he wins that fight again, then he can fight likely Anthony Joshua for the IBF belt, the one belt that he'd be missing. And then he'd become two-time undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. So realistically, if he were to go that route, it, it makes sense. Like if I was Alexander Usyk, I would vacate the belt immediately, let someone else win it and then back myself to beat Tyson Fury again and recapture the belt. Because right now it's like, oh, Lennox Lewis was undisputed. Alexander Usyk won it once. People will say, yeah, well, Alexander Usyk wasn't in a strong era as Lennox Lewis was. Well, if Alexander Usyk goes two-time undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, it kind of kicks Lennox Lewis out of the conversation regardless of the opposition. So I think personally, Alexander Usyk will vacate the belt at some point. Because you've got to think about it, he's just one undisputed, right? His goal, like what he's been trying to achieve, if you know what I mean, has been completed. It's mission over. Surely, like, just he's going to need some sort of new target to focus on. I mean, I don't know how it works, but you heard Tyson Fury say that when he won the world titles or whatever, he felt a bit hollow because he'd worked all his life for one thing, finally achieved it, and he felt a bit, you know what I mean, like, lost. I'm not saying that would be the case with Alexander Usyk. I'm saying that if he were to give up his belt and try and capture it again to become two-time undisputed, that's a new target. You know, you've got one out of the way. Now let's get motivated for number two. So I think it makes sense for Alexander Usyk to vacate. I don't like the fact that him, his team, his promoters, whoever has got to refer to Turkey Al Sheikh to get permission to make the moves that they want to make. But at the same time, 
while I don't like the fact that they're in someone else's pockets and they're doing what they're told, if they were to come to me and offer me one one thousandth of the fee that they're giving Alexander Usyk to do anything, use the channel, get me to say X, Y, Z, I'm going to do it. So I ain't in no moral position, no high position where I can look down on people being in other people's pockets, man. If I had the opportunity, I'm going to be on that train as well. It is what it is. So I don't necessarily agree with it, but I do get it. And given the opportunity, I'm jumping on that train as well. That's all I got for this one, guys. Daniel Dubois versus Filip Hergovic may not be for the IBF title. It depends on what Alexander Usyk wants to do. Egis Klimas, Alexander Usyk's manager, said they're going to reach out to the Saudis and Alexander Usyk to see what he wants to do and take it from there. But I do suspect that they will vacate and the plan will go ahead where Anthony Joshua gets to fight for the title at Wembley against the winner of Daniel Dubois and Filip Hergovic. That's what I got for this one, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe, or don't. I'll catch you on the next one. Love.